Guys, we got some awesome news from the PlayStation State of Play. I'm going to start off with some JRPG stuff, get into some other stuff, and then circle back to the biggest announcement of the day, in my opinion. So, starting off with the Fantasian Neo Dimensions trailer. The game is coming out on December 5th on both PS4 and PS5. This is Hironobu Sakaguchi's latest game, creator of the Final Fantasy series. He's also got Nobuo Uematsu doing the soundtrack, and this game just looks incredible. It's using diarrhea instead of pre-rendered backgrounds and I've heard nothing but good things about this story the combat looks amazing if you like turn-based JRPGs you like Final Fantasy you like anything from Hironobu Sakaguchi be sure to give this one a try comes out December 5th next up I want to talk about Ghost of Yote so there's a sequel coming out for Ghost of Tsushima it looks like it takes place in a different area of Japan and it's gonna be starring a new character. From what I understand, it looks really well done, just like Ghost of Tsushima. I really need to go and sit down and actually play through that game, but it looks amazing. So if you're a fan of Ghost of Tsushima, you are in luck, you've got a sequel coming out to PS5 in 2025. We don't have a set release date yet, but it is coming out next year, and we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year, so. You guys got something awesome to look forward to. Next up is Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remaster. Coming out December 10th on the PS4 and PS5. I remember playing the absolute crap out of Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Like, I think it's Legacy of Kane 2 Soul Reaver back when I was a kid. I'm not a big fan of, like, hack and slash puzzle platformers now. And I don't know that I ever was, but I really, really enjoyed this game. There was something about this game that always stood out to me. I think it's just the lore. Like, it's just got a really good kind of background story, and the character is very interesting. You kind of, like, you fight your opponents, and then you absorb their souls to, like, power yourself up and stuff like that. And it was just a fun 3D action platformer with minor puzzle elements to it. If you like games like the classic God of War games, like God of War 1 and 2, this will be right up your alley. I honestly prefer this over those games. So yeah, coming out on December 10th on PS4 and PS5. So look forward to that bad boy if you're into those kinds of games. And then before we get to the main event here, I wanted to talk about Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. We don't have a release date as far as I know on this game. They did say it was coming out in 2024 earlier, but we still don't have an actual date. So I don't know, this one might be coming out in 2025. I love Metal Gear Solid 3, one of the best games on the PS2, one of the best games of all time in my opinion. This remake is looking fantastic. It looks like they're doing a great job with it. Very excited to be able to see more. And uh, if you're interested in this game, keep your eyes open for the release date. Let me know when you see a release date, and I'll let you know when I see one myself. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid Delta, the remake of Metal Gear Solid 3, coming out hopefully sometime this year, but not too sure on a release date there. Last but not least, in fact, last but the best. I recorded a video that's going to be coming out soon. It's kind of a follow-up to the video I did, I believe, earlier this week when I talked about top 10 JRPGs that just did not age well. I'm doing a follow-up video to that that's already been recorded, talking about the top 10 JRPGs that aged incredibly. On that list is, of course, a bit of a spoiler, but on that list is the Lunar series, and I'm talking about Lunar 1 and 2 on the PlayStation. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Coming out, and, and in the video I talk about how I would love to see this game upscaled in HD. I would love to see this game getting a remaster. Well, guess what? Today, the, the PlayStation State of Play granted my wish, and we are getting the Lunar Remaster Collection, including Lunar 1 and 2 for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. There's no exact release date yet, but it is saying spring of 2025. I am looking forward to this big time. Next year is going to be incredible, man. We've got Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D Remake. I think they said that was supposed to be coming out in spring of 2025 as well. So, it's going to be a battle, man. I'm looking forward to both this remaster and the Dragon Quest 1 and 2 remaster. So, going to have a bunch of great JRPGs to play next year. Do not sleep on Lunar. If you've never played this before, I put this up right up there along with the best Final Fantasy and the best Dragon Quest games ever made. Lunar 1 and 2 are amongst the best JRPGs of all time. And I'm, I'm not kidding. I would not steer you wrong. So, look forward to this. 
and grab this the moment it comes out. The moment it's announced, I'm going to try and get some pre-order bonuses if I can. I have the PS1 version complete in box with like all a bunch of like extra knickknacks and all this stuff. I am so hyped for this. This came out of the blue. I wanted it to come out for like quite some time because we got the Grandia remaster and Game Arts is the same company that did Lunar. So I'm so glad that we're going to be getting Lunar 1 and 2 finally on modern consoles in HD. Anyways, if you guys enjoy JRPG content, you enjoy these kinds of videos, you enjoy top 10 videos, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications at all so you won't miss the next video. Trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and that's only possible with your help. Thank you so much for watching, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.